one of our favorite drills now. We do it maybe two or three times a week. The drill is called Neville's Pepper, and it's named after a coach named Bill Neville, who used to be one of the uh, US men's national team coaches. And the way that it works is we have a grouping of defenders playing against a full team offense. Sometimes we play this game with an open net, as we're going to demonstrate right now. Sometimes we play this game with blockers in place. The way the drill is first initiated is either off of a serve, as we're going to do now, or off of a free ball toss. First, the scoring side are these three players. We call it the Neville side. What they're going to do is stay for a duration of time. Normally, we play for three minutes, but for now, we're just going to say 90 seconds. They're going to get as many points as they can. Once time is up, three new defenders will come over to get as many points as they can. And when time is up, a new group of defenders come up, comes over. And at the end, we're going to see which group can generate the most points. On this side, no scoring takes place. Their job is to score, to kill balls, so that that side does not score. And I'll first show you the way that this side switches. So while that side stays for the entire duration of time, 90 seconds for this purpose, this side will only stay for the duration of the rally. So what that means is we're going to, the serve will initiate, we'll play it out. When the rally ends, we're going to switch. Good. Our setter usually stays for the entire time. For right now, we have, looks like only one back row player, so she can stay for the duration of the play. But when the rally ends, we'll switch. Middle sometimes will just let you stay until you get a swing and then you switch. But the key is that this side is switching very quickly in between plays, while that side is staying put for 90 seconds scoring points. The way that they score, they get one point every time they dig a ball. Every time you dig it, you get one. Every time they win a rally, they get a point. So if she were to dig a ball, she would have one point, and if they could transition and kill it, they'd have two. If the other side were to make a hitting error, helping you win the rally, you get a point. You will lose a point for any hitting error. So if this team is sitting on seven points, they'll dig a ball for their eighth, but if they hit it out, they drop back down to seven. And if this team were to not go for a ball at any point, they forfeit every one of their points. So we're going to go ahead and watch while this team gets 90 seconds. On this iteration, you guys are all attacking front row. It's an open net. This side must attack out of the back row. It is 90 seconds, and we'll keep the score. Dig no, not made, no point. Next ball. 15 seconds are gone. There's a point. Sometimes in your gym you might say that overpasses don't count, but they're at one. Notice we're playing it out. This side is switching every play. There's a point, they got one. There's two, they've won the rally. Next ball. There you've got three. Point for the dig. Ball was converted, they have four. No dig, next ball. You've got to get it back over the net to count. You have 30 seconds left. You're sitting on four points. Next ball. Hitting error, five. 20 seconds left. Hitting error, six. There's seven, point for the dig. Hitting error, point eight. This is the last ball. Nine. Ten. Time. 